Hi, I'm Josh Campell, CEO of Worth Media Group here in Davos with Chris Foster, CEO of OPRG. Chris, thanks for joining us today. Josh, thanks for having me. Happy to be here. So yesterday we hosted a great breakfast, an amazing group of chief marketing officers, chief communications officers, and a lively conversation really around the impact of artificial intelligence on marketing and communications. Anything from that conversation that surprised you? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> First off, we had a great conversation and I'm really glad to be hosted it. I see there are two things that surprised me. There's as much excitement and uh, around the opportunity and the promise for AI in our industry as there is concern about the risk. And at, at Omnicom, we're being quite bullish. And at OPRG, I'm quite bullish about what AI can do to help us practice communications with more precision at scale and faster. But we do have to be sensitive to some of the risk associated with it. So it was good to have that discussion to get that balance we can calibrate moving forward. And I think the diversity of the audience we curated helped us get that perspective. Yeah, I think I was surprised how quickly it turned to the risk side of, uh, of, of, of AI. So, right, we had marketers, we had communicators. Mm -hmm. I think historically we think about marketers as very fast to adopt new technology, mm -hmm. right? You know, but con communicators maybe not so much, right? They, they may not embrace technology quite as quickly. Well, why is that? You know, it's just, I think there's a lot we can learn as communicators and PR professionals from the marketers. I think one of the things that sh has struck me in the last 18 to 24 months is as, as communicators, we're very, we, we treat the profession, we're very precious about the craft and the trade. And I think while there's, a, there's something to say for that, I think we need to surrender to some extent uh, to the impact and the role of technology and AI automation, the role that's gonna play in our business. Marketers have gotten there. So there is something we can learn from marketers to almost surrender to the movement, the momentum around technology, because I do think it's gonna be additive and help us do our jobs better, not take away. And, and obviously the conversation did go to the future of work, jobs. What does the workforce of the future look like? Does it augment and increase productivity? And we heard both sides of it. Um, you know, what are your thoughts just, you know, you know, broadly on communicators, you know, Raja from MasterCard was very bullish on saying he's more optimistic than pessimistic on the things that it'll do, you know, as communicators, you know, how should they really be thinking about these technologies? Look, I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm more optimistic than pessimistic. Uh, I think the, look, I don't think technology and AI and automation are going to you know, eliminate all communicators as we as, as we know them today. I think it's gonna change some jobs. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna allow us to do our jobs more effectively. It's gonna allow us to do more with more precision with the with a partner uh, and the partner's called AI. Um, I think the jobs will look different. So I think there are jobs we haven't even imagined yet that we'll see in the communications field that are on the horizon. I think it's our job to lean in and try to imagine and bring imagination and curiosity to the table to think about what those next generation of jobs look like as we start to partner differently with the AI automation. Right, I think we've heard a lot about them called co-pilots, right? right? This idea right. of really, you know, how do we lean on the technology? And I think to your point, you know, if, if people learn, no matter what function they are, to leverage the technology to increase their productivity, hopefully we'll be in a better place. I think that's it. We just yeah. need to lean in it and, and, and be responsible. I do think there's always gonna be room for the craft. We'll always need the human element. We're not going to replace that. But if we can, we can bring that human element, and that judgment faster with a lot more precision. I think we're going to do a lot better job for ourselves and our clients. Great. Well, Chris, thanks for uh, joining us today. Thanks, Josh. I thanks. appreciate it. Thank you so much.